G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix and I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Zaytax. Copyright 1994, developed by Pixel Painters Corporation. Now this, oh let's have a look at the introduction shall we? Playing the game, time of the Zaytax, well let's look at both, why not? Zaytax is a fast action arcade game. You must use your quick reflexes to shoot and destroy air and ground enemies. You can use your keyboard or your joystick to play this game. If you're using a joystick, you must configure it in the setup option at the main menu. If you're using a keyboard, the following keys are used to control your ship. Uh, page up. Where's page up? Use it so infrequently. Control, fires, alt, releases a bomb. Up, down, left, right. Simple stuff. Okay, control and order my attack. Okay, where do I go now? Other keys, blah blah blah. Okay, okay, pellets, changer. Yeah, I think we'll figure this all out. Time of the Zaytex. Zaytex, I don't mean to bore you with this, but stories are important. No one knows how or when the Zaytex was created or from where it comes. The importance of these issues have been minimized since the beginning of the... Of the destruction of the Alliance. The primary concern is survival, with only seven of the hundred plus guilds in the Alliance remaining. Hope seems to be fading as consumption draws near. Since the end of the inter-guild war in this... Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where's my bit? In the... Early 2200s, peace has reigned for over 200 years. Our leaders said they would never need our weapons again. They said if we remove the means to make war... Then there would be no more wars. They said that without arms we would all be safe. They said all of these things and now they are dead. We were so foolish. Time grows short. I will say what I know about the Zaytax. Holy shit. You know, if you want to pause this and read it, you can. But there's your story. All I know is the Zaytax is bad and I'm a shooty ship and I'm going to shoot stuff. Uh, let's go. Let's play episode one, defending the guilds. Okay. So that's me. That's my ship. I hold control to fire my little blaster and kill as many of these little well, enemies as possible. There's all different types. Oh god, I'm dead already. Okay. Now, if I remember right, I well, I played the hell out of this when I was young. I was really freaking good at it. But it is a hard as nails game. I'm telling you. Uh, and each one of those little balls, I mean, power-ups, they give you a, a random weapon. Which is why I liken this to a roguelike, but it's really facetious to say that, because that's pretty much all it has in common. The fact that it's hard, the fact that you get random weapons, and the fact that the weapons can greatly dictate your success. If you get a bunch of bad ones, like that one that I just got, like I just got an extra life. I mean an extra bomb instead of a life, and then I just used it. That is not a useful thing to get. I'm going to kill myself and start a new since I'm failing so hard already. Whew, hopefully we can get a good one. I really like the missile one, which I got just before, but then I managed to blow it. So let's try and pay a little more attention here, shall we? Uh, what's that one? Yes, that's just what I said. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me, game. So missiles are great because there's a lot of these enemies on these platforms down here that you can't really hit very effectively unless you have a missile because they fire diagonally obviously. You gotta be real careful in this game because you will die in one hit as you've seen. Unless you have a shield power up but you will die in one hit whether or not it's in contact with another ship or if it's just being hit by one of these bullets. You gotta be real careful. So it's a tough game. I don't know if it's as hard as I remember it. Maybe I was just young and uh, had bad reflexes and, and stuff like that, but it's certainly not what you'd call an easy game. That ah, Stay away from me. Oh, what's that? That's an S. I think that stands for shield. Let's try not to go oh, kill ourselves getting it. Yeah. Game over. Oh no, I didn't get game over before. What am I talking about? I was trying to get game over before. Well, let's put my name in the top ten. Sweet. Okay, let's let's try this again. Yeah, I've only got episode one unlocked. Now I'm not sure if that's because I need to beat 
episode one to unlock episode two, or because this is a shareware type version. It doesn't matter. Let's try this again. You kind enough to give me another missile. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what those little rotating satellite things do. I don't think they do anything apart from get in the way. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll point it out when we see one again. Uh, 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 this is this stresses me out, but it's also so beautifully nostalgic. I am enjoying every second of it. I spent so many hours in this game when I was young. Uh, primarily in this uh, kind of after-school hours care. Uh, I just destroyed another satellite, by the way. Uh, there was a period of time during which uh, after school every day I would go to the after school hours care, you know, for kids who have parents who can't pick them up immediately after school and need to have something to keep them busy and be looked after until... Uh, come on! Oh no, yeah, if you don't grab them fast enough they disappear, which is infuriating. But yeah, anyway, I went to this uh, after school hours program with a lot of kids and... Maybe this is sad. I don't know if you would think it's sad. I don't find it sad, but a lot of the kids would always, um... The vast majority of them would go out and play sports. Uh, during this after-school hours care program. But there was a handful of us, maybe, I think there was only three of us, who chose not to. And what we would do is go into the computer room and play the hell out of all these awesome DOS games on the uh, on the computers there. There's a satellite, just killed it. I don't know what they're for, I'm gonna stop pointing them out. But yeah, we played the crap out of these and had so much fun doing it. Um, and we'd always get in trouble for not going out and playing sports and stuff like that, but I'm telling you, it's not bad for you to sit around and play video games with, with friends. We had so much fun. And we'd always challenge each other at Zaytax. We're all three of us in a row playing Zaytax at the same time. This demo version, all trying to get the top score. And I tell you what, I always had the absolute best score. I was the god of Zaytax. Ooh, we just got a rapid fire power up, that's awesome. Yeah, rapid fire is a beautiful thing. Now I'm firing like crazy. You can imagine how beneficial that is. But yeah, anyway, we, I was the absolute master of Zaytax. It was my absolute only claim to fame. The only thing I had in life to be proud of for a period there. And I didn't, I didn't find that sad. It was, it was great. This poor old kid Dean could not beat my score. I felt like a king. <laughs> So one day I'm gonna have to try out. Oh, what's that? Oh, I upgraded my my blaster. It's a bit thicker now, a bit more menacing. One day I'm gonna have to try out the other two episodes in the uh, in the game if I can find a full version. That'll be really interesting. I wonder if they're much different, or if they introduce any new power-ups, or you'd hope they introduce new enemies at least. And I. I don't think there are any boss enemies in this game, I think it's all just straight levels, but I could be wrong. Don't rely on my memory from... how many years... how long has it been since I played this? I would say... 18 years. Ah oh, yes, I got the rings! If you get two weapon upgrades, they turn from a blaster to a thick blaster to rings. And I believe if I get another one, they'll turn into like laser beams. But I actually prefer the rings, always, because they're thicker than the lasers. Oh, well, I'm doing pretty good, actually. I'm sorry if there's not a whole lot of humor to be gained from this. It is just a space shooter game, but don't you dare call it just a space shooter game. Because I love it. Yeah. Well, this, things are getting a little hairy now. I wonder how... Yeah, the levels are really long, too, as you can see. Yes! I got the P! The P gives me a little buddy. I don't know what the P stands for. But it gives me a little buddy who fires the exact same shots that I do, which basically doubles all your weapons, which is incredibly good. What would P stand for? Partner? Yeah. Uh, power up? Uh... I don't know. Power... Pen 
pencil. No, that's not a pencil. That's a... It's an orb. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it partner. He's my little partner in... Partner in gun shooting here. Oh, careful now. You gotta be really, really careful because, as I mentioned, you die in one hit, but you also lose all of your stuff. All of your power-ups. Oh, gotta get that. Now, shield won't protect you from direct physical contact with an enemy or a wall or anything. I haven't, I haven't mentioned that, actually. If I touch any of these walls, I'd die instantly. I kind of, like, push up into them, and it won't do anything. If I hit one of them, I would die instantly. I'm not going to demo it for you, though. Sorry. The shield only protects me from bullet fire, so it's fairly useless, to be honest. What was this, the end of level? Level 3, ah uh, yeah. Let's kill everything. Oh yes, another upgrade. I don't really like the laser as I said, but I do want to show it off to you guys. It's cool looking, I'll give you that. Maybe it has an advantage over the rings, I don't know, but the rings look cool. I haven't used any bombs yet either. Bombs can be very, very helpful in dire situations when you're surrounded by gunfire. Oh, what's... Ah, damn it, it's another shield. Let's see. Yeah, that's how the shield works. Pretty basic. Not very exciting, I know. Oh, crap! I was gonna say crap, and then I was gonna say crumbs, because crap is offensive. So I said crop, and I died again. See, yeah, it's a downward spiral when you uh, lose your life because you lose all your power ups, and then you are in the shit like I am right now. <laughs> so it's in your best interest to not screw up. Yeah, that's a bomb in action there, coming in handy. It's in your best in Zatex, as in life, as in any other game, not to screw up. But it's easier said than done sometimes. Oh, that was just total amateur hour. Game over. Ah. I beat my last score though, didn't I? Of course I did. 58,330. Beat that! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. This was Zaytax. Released 1994, developed by Pixel Painters Corp. Hope you enjoyed. Drop me a like, it really genuinely helps. And uh, subscribe or drop me a comment as well if you'd like. And I will see you next time.